What's up everyone? This is Ken Tanaka, Wish for Fish, giving you tips, bringing you on adventures, and taking you on the water. I was back out west for a little late summer fishing, and when I mean late summer, I'm talking about late August. It's been a while since I've been out there around this time. Matter of fact, it was 2016 since I was out there in late August, and at this time, all the hatches are over, so you're primarily looking at terrestrials, you're looking hoppers, you're looking at beetles, you're looking at ants. So I primarily was using a chubby the entire time and this golden chubby was a savior for the entire trip. Now because it is late summer I do highly suggest looking towards spring creeks and tailwaters for some of that cooler water temperatures. Uh, matter of fact uh, what I suggest is to bring a stream thermometer with you just take the temperature really quick it's super simple and super quick and if it's looking anywhere towards uh, mid 60s to upper 60s I wouldn't even fish the water. Uh, uh, optimal water temperatures for trout is looking around 50 to 60 degrees so I would look for water that is a little bit more safer to fish. On this trip I was able to link up with my good friend Josh Callahan and this is actually the third time that I fished with him. Uh, one time in Tennessee and also the other time in Mosquito Lagoon in Florida so it was good to link up with a good friend. Now, if you've been following me on social media, you have been seeing a sneak peek at the new Ross Colorado. It's not even available yet, but you will be seeing a review on it later on in my channel, so stay tuned for that. Now, along with the Colorado, I was fishing it with the 9 foot 5 weight Barron XF from Native Rod Company. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more from this brand uh, throughout my channel. I'm going to be fishing it in Louisiana as well. Now, I had this paired up with the new Airflow Power Taper, which will also be available in November. The power taper is basically taking over the Exceed line. Uh, Airflow has redone their entire freshwater line, so I'm really excited to show you some of their new lines that they have coming up, which will be the universal taper as well as the tactical taper, and it's really going to change the game. So I hope you guys enjoy some late summer Spring Creek action for some cutthroat. Somebody stole a car in West Yellowstone. Four of them, escapees. And uh, they crashed their car, and three of them are on the way to hospital, and one of them is in the field in Ashton right now. So we're about to do a little hike in, and sometimes you gotta work a little bit to get to the fish, but that looks pretty fantastic to me. What a beauty. Now, I was preparing my line to cast to some really nice fish in this pool. And as you see, I didn't even get to cast my fly. I was just kind of throwing it out there to Got prepare for my cast. And this fish took my fly. Yes! Now, some of these fish I did end up putting a dropper on, and I was just using a soft hackle uh, Duracell.
Oh, Jesus. Best part about using a barbless hook, oh, Jesus, is that you could just boop, easily take it out. Yes. Now, I did come back to this hole and revenge it with the proper cast, but of course, uh, was not recording on my head cam. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wasn't even recording. Thank you very much for watching everyone if you like what you saw please do like share or comment below take a look at our website at wishforfish.com and if you're on social media give us a follow at wishforfish our next video coming up will be in montana and i'll see you on the water <laughs>